Yeah, welcome back to The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. It's now time for Today in History, and I'm going back to the year 2019 on the 21st of April. This day in history, it was an Easter Sunday, and, you know, churches were packed, you know, people who had come out, you know, for the Easter services. And sadly, there was a bombing. We saw videos of a suspected bomber carrying a backpack, you know, checking out from a hotel and entering into, you know, the church. And uh, we saw that three churches there, you know, were bombed and as well as three luxury hotels in the commercial capital of Sri Lanka, Colombo. They were targeted and uh, they say it was a series of coordinated Islamist terrorist suicide bombings, you know, on that Easter Sunday. Uh, the government eventually closed facilities, you know, for security. And uh, on the next day, April 22nd, the police found a van belonging to the attackers, you know, near one of the blasts. And they found on the same day a suspect, he was arrested with more than 40 swords, with knives, several uniforms, you know, similar to those worn by the army were recovered from a mosque on Slave Island. You know, on that day, a curfew was was imposed and the Sri Lankan police eventually identified nine suicide bombers. Over 250 people were killed. Some sources say over 300 people were killed. It was just such a very dark day, you know, in the history of that country. Lots of people mourning who had gone to church, you know, to Mac Easter, you know, just ended up losing their lives because of this very dastardly, you know, terror attack. Suicide bombs will never, um, just never ever make any sense to me. Um, neither will terrorism um, or, of course, um, you know, someone waking up in the morning and deciding to go blow up dozens of others uh, for reasons best known to them. You know, might just be to instill fear in, in others, maybe because you hate a particular religion. Makes absolutely no sense to me. And uh, it also makes me remember a um, couple of years ago when we used to have similar stories here in Nigeria of church bombings and mosque bombings um, mm -hmm. in uh, northern Nigeria. Luckily, we've moved on from you know, that phase and Amen. we no longer hear um, things like that. Um, but rest in peace to those lives and everyone who you know, passed on in Sri Lanka was affected by those bombings in 2019. All right, also on this day, we're moving back to 2016 and it is uh, to speak on the death of one of the world's most famous voices. If you remember the hit song, Purple Rain, it was done by Prince. And it was on this day in 2016 that he passed on. On the morning of uh, April 21st, 2016, Prince, um, who of course had created more than 30 albums and won seven Grammy Awards over a 40 year career, was found dead in his Minnesota home and recording studio. The cause of his death was, you know, as we've also said on this program many times, was as accidental overdose um, of uh, the opioid fentanyl. Um, too many times, and I'm comfortable with, we've spoken about people who have passed on. We spoke about Whitney Houston here and her daughter, um, who, of course, also passed on from a drug overdose. Um, he was at that time 57 years old. And, of course, uh, it threw the whole world into mourning. The black community, the, everybody really who loved Prince and what he stood for and his music was thrown into mourning. President Obama said at that time that few artists had influenced the sound and trajectory of popular music more distinctly or, or even touched quite so many people with their talents as much as Prince did. In the years before his death, he had been taking prescription pain medication for chronic hip pain, and it is believed that he was also struggling with an uh, opioid addiction. Uh, throughout his career, he defied and um, uh, transcended uh, the you know whole of uh, music gen genres uh, that were possible, and he was just an entirely phenomenal artist. I'm also going to quickly share the, um, he uh, some of the awards that um, you know he won in the time that he was, uh, or some of his achievements. He sold over 150 million records worldwide, ranking him among the best-selling music artists of all time. Mm -hmm. He was also inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2004, the music, uh, UK Music Hall of Fame in 2006, and the Rhythm and Blues Music Hall of Fame in 2016. After his death, um, he was posthumously honored with a Doctor of Humane Letters by the University of Minnesota. He won seven Grammy Awards, seven Brit Awards, six American Music Awards, four MTV Music Awards, an uh, Academy Award, and many, many, many others. His um, song, remember the a song I just mentioned, Purple, Purple Rain, Rain in 1984, mm -hmm. um, was also one of his greatest albums ever. And um, um, also received the Grammy Award for Album of the Year in 1989 um, and uh, 82. 
Ooh. So sad, yeah. you know, when we talk about Prince. His real name was actually Prince, by the way. Full name, Prince Rogers Nelson. Mm. Multi-instrumentalist, American singer, songwriter, dancer, producer, director, actor. I mean, he even wrote a couple of songs for other artists, including Chaka Khan. You know Chaka Khan? He was, Chaka um, Khan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he also, you know, I remember, you know, was also, you know, people, a lot of people try to figure out his sexuality. Yeah, um, that. <laughs> that part, you know, mostly because of his something. fashion. <laughs> <laughs> but we also have a prince here in Nigeria, in the Nigerian music industry. Yes. Um, the Tig Banana uh, <laughs> crew now. That's the prince that we have here. And so we celebrate our own also, the prince. Yes. All right. Anyway, that's what we have for you today. Today in history, 2016, the death of prince. Let me just mention, the purple ring you mentioned, um, I think the Global Society of Color or the Global Authority of Color, they actually created a color for him, a shade of purple, you know, after he did Purple Prince. Rain, yeah. It's interesting. Quite it's interesting, good to know. yeah. All right, so and she shared you, uh, with you about a bomb blast that, took, that happened in Sri Lanka in the year 2019. And those are top big um, 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 you know, issues that we're sharing with you today in history, April 21st. Stay with us when we come back. We're moving into our first major conversation for today. What is the state of the Nigerian uh, nation as it stands? And of course, the Igbo perspective is what we're going to be looking at with the publicity secretary of Ohanez and Igbo worldwide. That comes up right after this short break.